Hi friends, what's this window? There are two options in this. One is show two and another is show three. If I am selecting show three, then three text boxes are displayed. I'll change it to show two. Now there will be two. Again, I can go back to show three. So based on my selection, the number of text boxes are displayed. Now this is a uh, based on a question asked where uh, can I based on the user selection can I uh, place the number of text boxes. Here is the code. Let's understand the code now. Here is the code. So we are importing TK and also TTK because combo box is a part of the TTK. So we have to import TTK. Now I have just created the window my window my underscore W here it is but some some gives the name as root. Okay, I am giving my underscore W. Now the geometry dimension the tiles and I have just increased the font size to give it a better look. Here is the string variable. This why I am using a string variable is I will use the trace method. So whenever we uh, select a different choice or you change the option or you select the option, this string variable will hold the data. And another advantage is any change I can trigger a function. We'll see that. Now for the combo box, I have two options: so two and so three. So these are the two options will be displayed. You, if you want more, you can just add it here. So four, so five like that and accordingly increase the number of text boxes also. This is my combo box. Nothing great in that. I just and watch that the text variable here. I am connected it to cell. Cell is my string variable. So anytime I change the option, this option will trigger the string variable will change. So it will trigger the trace method. We'll see that the trace method is here at the end. I have written cell is my string variable. The trace method W means whenever the variable changes, it will trigger the function my update. So what is my update? My update is I have written the code here. We'll understand that. So then I have just placed it in the grid row zero and column zero slightly pad X. So I don't want it to flush with the left edge pad Y not with the top edge. So slight gap I have given. Why I have used column span is three because I'm expecting maximum three text boxes here to be displayed. So if the text boxes I am rows and column wise column zero column one column two, then what happens if I am keeping it as column zero, then it will push to the right edge and some text boxes will be go out of so uh, go out of the boundary. So for that purpose, I am using columns and because below I am using three text boxes. Fine, that's all. So here you can see the the trace method triggers triggers the my update my UPD. Here it is all the arguments. I'm just collecting it. Now what are this line is doing? This line is removing the all the previous elements. If it is present, I'm using grid remove. I'm giving one because I don't want to remove the combo box. Note that row zero is the combo box and row one. I'm going to place the all my text widget. So row one only I'm removing because suppose I have displayed three Next time I want to display two. So previous three will be there and one over that two will be there. For that purpose, I'm removing it first. Whenever this function, it removes that. Then I'm checking what the user has selected. This is the string variable. The gate method collects the selection. And if it is equal to so two, because you can see there are two options. One is so two and one is so three. If it is so two, then place the two text boxes here. And note that I have in the row one column is zero. Next text box is in column one, the right of the first text box. Similarly, at next I am using a leaf condition, setting it selects its get so three. That means the user has selected so three. Now I am just placing three text boxes and uh, but note that again column zero, column one and column two because this is the maximum condition. So I have used in the combo box here. It is the call span three because that will accommodate all the three text boxes. That's all you have already seen the demo. Once more, we'll run it and see how this works. Quite simple. I am just selecting select or let's go select two. So two have come. Now, because I am removing it here, you see the line number 13, I am removing the moment I select to three, first two will be removed and three will be placed. If I remove this, otherwise you can see that over that three, two will be coming. So you, it, you, it will be a clumsy one. So you will not know how many have displayed. So for that purpose, I am removing and again placing it. So that is the reason I am using this. Now, uh, 
uh, that's all friends so i request you please share this with your friends and uh, request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we press the we go for the new videos we frequently do that thank you for watching and please subscribe